So it's 3.32 p.m. 3.32 p.m. Friday, 6 January 2016. I finished eating my veggie stew. That's my food for today. And uh, I think it's helping. My weight was 65.5. I think it's, I just eat like in the morning two slices of bread whole grain bread with uh, sunflower or, you know oil margarine and raspberry jam and I eat a banana and well that's it a banana and I have a soy latte and then uh, I eat uh, three sun-dried apricots and about nine pieces of nuts, usually six peanuts, and <laughs> I'm, I'm counting everything. Anyway, uh, and the other is almonds, almonds, how you pronounce and uh, pistachio, or whatever else is there. Um, three, three of those. Then I make my veggie stew, and that's about it. So that that should help my weight loss. So anyway, I wanted to uh, make this was, uh, This is a movie they got. I actually got some delivered today. Uh, this is called Thin. It's a documentary. It's an HBO documentary. It's about these women who are like having eating disorders. Oh, anyway, and um, I saw this on. Uh, oh, no. It's not on YouTube, but I wanted to get a my own copy. So. You know, it's about eating disorders, and I don't know, I kind of like it. It's just, um, I like it. Anyway, <laughs> and uh, this is a movie I saw. It's called Painful Secrets. I think it's a Lifetime movie, but I got it from Amazon. I, I got these two from Amazon. Uh, it's about this uh, girl who cuts herself, uh, cuts and burns herself. So she's trying to kill pain. She could end up killing herself. Anyway, I saw this a while ago, and I, I you know, I, I like this film. I like this, uh, I like this film, so I got it. Um, the ones I got today are all of these. All of these are delivered. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna get rid of Aladdin. Oh, I saw this in the cinemas. Disney's Aladdin. Uh, you know, I like the music, what do you call that? Whole New World, Na -na -na. I love that song. Uh, it's a nice song. Mm. So I'm gonna be, I hate these, uh, let me get rid of the... These are all, uh, those two were DVDs, these are Blu-rays, I think, mostly. That's a lot. And, uh... Put it in my trash over here. This one is giant. I heard this is a good film. It stars uh, Elizabeth Taylor, Rock Hudson, and James Dean. I suppose I don't know. It's 198 minutes. That's more. That's three hours and 18 minutes. That's a pretty lengthy film. And I like James Dean's. I like the rebel without a cause. So, let's see what's that. Uh, the wolf on Wall Street. <laughs> this is a it was a funny movie. It's like a it's basically I mean it's like this. You're high on just making money and I don't know. It's just full on. The, like a Martin Scorsese style. Cinderella. Oh. <laughs> I think I see I've seen this when I was a kid. I like these movies, Cinderella and uh, I don't know. I feel like I don't know, I feel like I can identify with Cinderella. <laughs> you know, like it's funny because I thought I was the golden child, but I can identify with uh, Cinderella as a predicament. Um, uh, so I got that. Yes, I like Disney movies. Uh, I used to watch them as a kid. 
This is the Danish girl. I, this is I, I went and saw. I was uh, it was actually uh, hosted by my community legal center, the city legal center. So I understand. It's about this trans woman. She was in the early 1900s. I think she was apparently the first person to undergo sex reassignment surgery. It stars Eddie Redmayne and Alicia Vikander. I think she played a good role, Alicia Vikander. I'm not really sure about Eddie Redmayne's performance. I, just, I don't know about that. Uh, this is Glory. Uh, I think I saw this movie a while ago. Uh, yeah. It's one of those movies. You know, historical war drama. Something to do with slavery and stuff. So, yes, yeah, so there was a scene in this movie where Denzel Washington was getting whipped. And I saw the expression on his face, and I thought, oh my god, that was such powerful acting. I thought the way he acted that role was like, oh my god, that was so good. Um, I think he got our Best Supporting Actor award for this, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's the Best Supporting Actor, 1989. So that, that, scene, that scene always that got in my mind was that, was that whipping scene. It was like, oh. Because he was like a man. He wasn't a slave. He, was, he felt like a man who was being whipped. So, you know, he didn't have that slave kind of acquies you know, acquiescence. He, he was like, no, fuck this. This is unjust. This is wrong. <clears throat> so that was pretty good. Uh, this is The Conjuring 2. Uh, I have The Conjuring 1. Uh, so, yeah, it's a horror film. Uh, so I wanted to see the second part. I think this stars Patrick Wilson, doesn't it? Yes, Patrick Wilson. He's a he's an interesting actor. Uh, he acts in all these movies and yeah, he plays interesting roles. Uh, man, this thing is sticking. Uh, Blue Jasmine. I think she, uh, was it Kate Winslet got a, an Oscar for this. The Woody Allen film. Uh, I've been seeing some Woody Allen. Actually, I've seen, I've seen Irrational Man. Uh, one that was eating my veggies too. Uh, so, and finally, we got the I Spit on Your Grave movie collection. All three films. I think I've seen all three of them. Yeah, this is about that, you know, that, um, what's that other movie? Based on this film, I Spit on Your Grave, this is the original one, 1978, oh, the year I was born. It's about this woman who gets like horribly raped and, and, and then she takes her revenge on the men who raped her and she basically kills them and you know, it's like... But the, but the rape scene in this is pretty long and it's very, um, it's kind of, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's hard to watch, but uh, so... Uh, anyway, so anyway, in, in this film, the first one is like a, a similar to the old one. The second one is sort of like completely different. And the third one is like, uh, she, it's very weird. The third one is like, she, anyway, it's just like she's imagining killing people instead of actually killing them. Um, anyway, yeah, so yeah, some of those rape scenes are like horrible, but because um, I'm because I'm a very twisted person. <laughs> Uh, I have a perverted fantasy. Yes. I don't know, this thing always gets like that. This is, this is too big for me. So those are the three... When you get it, it's only, this was like $30 for all three movies. And they're, they're on, they're on Blu-rays. So... Three... Two... And part two is a different actress. But part one and three, it's the same actress. It's like a, a part one and three continue the story. Part two is like a different kind of story. So that's that. 
Anyway, so I also wanted to show This is like what I use for my liquid. This is a liquid soap. It's uh, called Dr. Bronner's Magic Soaps. It's like a. This is like a. How many? 20, how many milliliters is this? Anyway, this is a. It's made in USA, it says. Um, so I'm sure you guys can get it if you're living in the USA. It's fair uh, trade and 946 milliliters. They got a different, this is green tea, and I've got a, this one as well, sandalwood jasmine. I use this as my soap and as my shampoo. And I use uh, apple cider vinegar as my conditioner because you definitely need a conditioner after you use this. Otherwise your hair gets very clumpy and, so this is a fantastic product. It's, very, it's all organic, no chemicals and, <sighs> anyway. No synthetic oils, 100% vegetarian. Uh, uh, huh? What the hell? Oh, this 100% biodegradable. Something about antiques. Enjoy body rub to stimulate body, mind, soul, spirit, and teach the Essene moral ABC, uniting all three in the shepherd, astronomer, Israel's greatest, all one God faith. What the bloody hell was that? That was part of, was that in the ingredients section? I don't know. Anyway, fantastic soap. So I would recommend that to uh, people. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to talk about. It's, uh, hey, what did you talk about? Yes, uh, yes, I need to... I think I'm losing weight. It's good. Uh, so, yeah. And uh, so that's that.